So, in this video I'm going to show my latest LED strip project. Um, this ID came from uh, my sister, she's in a band, she plays the drums. So we thought it would be pretty cool if you had a LED strip inside a drum that would react to the sound. So I created that device, uh, it's currently just showing uh, a pattern. So uh, you have something to look at while I'm talking before I'm going to demonstrate it. On the device are uh, five knobs, one for red, one for blue and one for green. Uh, let's switch over to the uh, sound sensitive mode right now. Because uh, attached to the device is a knock sensor, it's actually just a piezo buzzer but those also function the other way around. This is a simple knock sensor, or actually it's a microphone-ish. So every time there's an impact, it flashes the lights and I've now got a pretty orange color, uh, but let's just go to red, and there's the green channel, and the blue channel. But of course you can mix those colors at your heart's content. I like the nice deep oranges. And there's also a button for the fade duration. So pretty short right now but you can turn it up to a nice slow fade that also allows you to create this uh, this pulsating effect pretty hypnotic there's also a uh, trigger level uh, knob with that you set the value where the uh, impact uh, makes it creates a light. So uh, this is useful for isolating the, uh, just the sound of the drum you're hitting. And uh, so you don't have your other drums or other sounds on the stage activating your device. And another feature is uh, right at the beginning you saw it flashing a pattern. That's coming from uh, just a regular old LED controller. You know the kind with uh, the remote, you can get them everywhere. And I've built one of those in, in this device too. So there's actually two LED controllers in this one box. And uh, this is uh, added to this uh, device. So when you're done playing or you take a break and uh, your stuff is still on stage, but you still want to uh, show some uh, lights, you have every functionality of a standard LED strip and also my own LED controller and that's the music controller. So it's a, it's a pretty complete package and all the wires are uh, uh, have a connector so you can unplug them um, so not everything is fixed. And uh, later on in the video I'll uh, show you more the, about the device because I'm filming in the dark now of course to show you the pretty lights and uh, I'll make another video in daylight to show the, uh, the details. And uh, before you go asking in the comments about uh, what uh, the code for this, it's really, really easy. It's just reading out five analog values, knobs, and uh, transforming those numbers into three pulse width modulation signals for the LEDs. And if you can't figure that out, you probably should be looking at creating another project. Alright, on to future me telling you more about the details of this device. Alright, welcome to the daylight portion of this video. In this slide I can show a bit more detail on my device. On the front it has five knobs. As you can see it's an aluminum box. It's pretty nice, feels feels good. And all the wires have a connector so uh, there are no an annoying wires attached if you don't need them. So let's go over the connections. I have this jack plug here for the sensor. The sensor is uh, one of these piezo buzzers. It also functions as a knock sensor and that connects within with the jack plug. Up next we have the LED strip with an extra heavy duty pin header so it stays firmly in place like so. And finally the power barrel jack also just connects like so and this is everything you need to uh, use this device. Also on this side is the on/off switch, but actually it's an on. It, 
uh, it's an on off on switch uh, because there are two devices in here one device is my device you just saw the uh, uh, you just saw first the sound activated LED controller but I've also installed you know one of those regular LED strip controllers so if you're not making music you can still display colors and patterns on it like in the break uh, periods so with this on switch you can switch on one device switch it off or switch on the other with this motion so that's a nice combined feature and on this side I've uh, yeah it's glued but that's you know the firmest connection I could make right now a GoPro bicycle steer uh, connector and with this you I can uh, attach it like so screw it in place and mount it on both uh, vertical and horizontal bars that you could typically find in a drum kit so you can mount this device wherever you want and have easy access uh, to all your controls Alright, thanks for watching.